but if I wasn't playing, I would drink Saturdays, then Sunday, then Monday. Then I would try and train and it was no good, then have another drink just to pass the day away. I've had to deal with everything but everyone has helped me, including Sir Alex Ferguson, to get through. George Best was a good friend of mine. We loved each other, we both knew where we were coming from. The drink. Yes, I've had tough times in my life, especially the last year, regarding my ex-wife, my kids, I nearly broke my neck, I was on death row with pneumonia. I don't really do pranks anymore. I have a laugh in the dressing room here, where it's safe, and the guys don't go to the papers and tell them what I've done. I never refused an autograph, never refused to buy someone a drink. Now I'm learning to say I've got other things on, instead of doing it and wondering why. I'll tell you the truth, I had a double brandy before the game but, before, it used to be four bottles of whiskey. Not anymore. I was fine. I had a glass of wine after the game. But it was just a mouthful. I'm going to do things when they are right for me. At the end of it, I'll maybe do a coaching badge but I'm not going to get forced into things. Hopefully everybody will just let me get on with my life. I'm going to. I am going to continue and bring this club forward. I am Paul Gascoigne the footballer. I like to help create team spirit in the dressing room. I feel that I've got loads of love to give. Then all the foreigners started coming over. I don't mind that but a lot of teams are laying out fortunes for ordinary players and that's no good for our youngsters coming through. I know as a manager you have to abide by the chairman's decisions. But his decisions were this team, that team, this player, that player. The chairman is a control freak. Anyway, how can you sack anyone who still hasn't got a contract? I'll be there for the game and I'll stand behind the dugout giving instructions to the players from there. They will respond to me more than the next manager. But then I always wanted to play for Rangers. Man United is a great club and Alex Ferguson is a legend. I never predict anything, and I never will. If the fans want me out, I'll put my hands up and leave. Like a proper man. I won't make excuses, I'll leave. You learn, right, a lot of people's problems, why they get upset, why they get down, why they turn to drink, is because they can't say one word and it's, no. Well, I did know, but I just wanted the day to pass and the next day to come and then I wanted that one to pass. It was a horrible cycle. I felt so close to having to pack the game in. I thought I did well for someone who has been out for 10 or 11 months. Then I was sub against Liverpool and tried to play for the guys and work on my fitness.